Hi everyone, welcome to the Smart Guide webinar. This is Andrew Vargas speaking. Let me introduce you to Lab, the uh, company which is behind um, uh, the Smart Guide system. Uh, we are a medical technology company uh, and we are developing digital systems uh, and we provide services to, to help bone surgeries. Uh, we believe that it uh, leads to a better patient care. Therefore, our vision is to make computer-guided surgery a global standard. This is what we are working on every day. Let me introduce myself. Um, I, um, I'm a doctor and a, a dentist uh, and an oral surgeon. Uh, I'm dealing with this topic um, in the last uh, more than 10 years. Um, I started my, uh, with my PhD um, uh, fellowship in, in Switzerland in 2010. Uh, where I was uh, working in a group uh, which is uh, which is working on digital workflows uh, together with some uh, other companies, with engineers, with uh, with uh, IT people, with business people. So it was a really really interesting experience uh, uh, for me, and it opened my eyes. Um, then I uh, went back home to Hungary and I started to work as a private practitioner in, a, in an implant center. We were specialized on on retreatments, uh, so I saw a lot of. Uh, a lot of failed cases and how to uh, how to uh, handle them, uh, and actually these ideas or these things led to uh, uh, the founding of Diacom Lab, and we started to develop um, um, guided surgery uh, surgery um, uh, softwares and services in 2012, which we can fit in the everyday clinical routine. Um, I defended my PhD thesis in 2013 in the University of Szeged. Under the uh, under the um, under my mentor uh, Joseph Pivko, and I specialized in oral surgery in 2014. So this is my professional background, uh, and uh, and these things led uh, uh, to uh, to the fact of dealing with guided surgery uh, in a detailed manner. In the next approximately 45 minutes, uh, I will introduce you to uh, to the following topics. We are going to talk about um, uh, what we see in guided surgery today, uh, how is the workflow uh, and the technology of Smart Guide. Um, uh, I will talk about how we support um, uh, different uh, implant brands and different levels of guidance in the modularity section. Then I'm going to show you our events and our upcoming events. Uh, I also show you a case uh, presentation and then in the end of the webinar, you can ask me any questions, uh, which I'm uh, very happy to, to answer. So if you have any questions during the presentation, please write it down. Uh, the platform, the webinar platform is collecting these questions. And then in the end of the presentation, I will reply to all the questions um, uh, orally so all of you uh, can listen to it. So let's jump into guided surgery today. I met, I, I soon after, um, or soon before graduating, I, I met with this uh, article and it put a great dilemma in my head uh, because I read it in 2008 that everybody was convinced about the advantages of guided surgery so much that they believed that within four years, nearly one fourth of the dental implants will be placed with some sort of guided technology. And what we see is that this is reality. Uh, this is an estimation uh, what we made in the European Union based on uh, uh, talking with key opinion leaders, with corporate people uh, and reading annual reports uh, of companies. Approximately 3% of the implants are placed guided today in the European Union, which is a very, very small number. Um, also um, taking into consideration what advantages guided surgery is carrying. Um, we know it uh, from articles and from experiences uh, that guided surgery makes surgeries accurate, safe, and predictable. Uh, so let's see these three uh, uh, topics. Um, with accuracy, it was one of it was the part of my my uh, my research work in the university. Uh, we made a randomized controlled clinical trial uh, within the university, uh, and what we wanted to see is what's the accuracy of guided surgery. And first time ever, we also showed uh, what is the accuracy of freehand surgery uh, after planning digitally. Uh, and we visualized it in, uh, in three dimensions, and I think uh, uh, the results are, are eye-opening. Um, these results, um, uh, this is what you see here on the left side, 
is, uh, is the average accuracy of approximately 100 implants placed guided. Uh, and this is this is nothing new. This is uh, uh, well known in the in the literature. Uh, it, what was important for us um, five six years ago when we made this clinical trial is to prove that our system is as accurate as all the others. What you see here, the blue implant is the is the implant position uh, where the doctors were planning uh, uh, the implants to be, and the gray position is where it became. Uh, during surgery. So this sums up approximately 100 implant uh, positions and their accuracies when it's operated guided. But this is nothing new. The new is this picture. And this is the accuracy of planning and then freehand surgery. The red implant is the planned position and the gray implant is the position um, uh, uh, which was then uh, ablated with, uh, with postoperative scans. This is the average accuracy of approximately 100 implants placed freehand. So this is really eye-opener and also keep in mind that this is based on Combim CT imaging, planning, and the plan was visible during the whole surgery. So probably um, uh, what we're doing re in, in, in our everyday clinical routine is, um, uh, is not even uh, as accurate as probably even um, even worse. But this is only accuracy. Of course, um, um, improving accuracy also uh, also improves a lot of biological factors. But guided surgery is also um, uh, very important because it makes surgery safer. As I mentioned before, I was working in, a, in an implant uh, center which was specialized on, on retreatments as well. So we had a lot of patients coming to our office like this. Um, um, here, for example, you see a mall positioning of, uh, of an implant in, uh, in, uh, 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 in the position 35. Um, this minor mistake, um, uh, we would say, led to, uh, to a tooth extraction, then implant extraction, bone augmentation, re-implantation, and uh, basically it, uh, it prolonged the, uh, the procedure uh, by almost a year and also added uh, a lot to the expenses. Here in the next picture is also a, a mal positioning of the implant, which makes uh, uh, the life um, uh, pretty hard for the patient. So it has to be uh, um, uh, replaced, uh, and uh, and also the prosthetic part had to be uh, uh, remade, which adds a lot to the cost as well. But of course, we also met um, um, more serious problematic situations, like uh, like on this picture, where the nerve um, is um, is damaged. Uh, by the drills and by the implants. Of course, these situations, um, they, they require uh, a lot of uh, uh, handling, uh, so not only uh, treatment-wise, but psychological-wise. Uh, so uh, these are extremely hard situations to handle since the patients are ending up with, um, with lifelong uh, uh, disabilities. And this picture is a final picture. Um, uh, of course, you, here you see that uh, there, there are many, many mistakes done, not only by the surgeon, but by the, uh, by the technician, by the, uh, by the prosthetician. Uh, uh, so these are extremely hard cases to handle and to retreat. Uh, of course, we have to extract everything. Um, a long healing time needs to be um, um, uh, done. And then uh, there's enormous uh, bone and soft tissue um, uh, lack of bone and lack of soft tissue after the healing period. So many times serious bone graftings uh, are required prior to implantation. These cases are extremely hard to, uh, uh, to handle. So to sum it up, um, uh, this, these situations could have been avoided with precise planning and with um, um, uh, the precise uh, insertion of the, of the implants. And predictability. Uh, well, if the implant is placed in the in the correct position according to the uh, to the future prosthetics, uh, then it has a lot of advantages, um, uh, and altogether it may uh, uh, contribute to the long-term success of dental implants. Uh, uh, these are um, uh, statements by big organizations. Um, uh, these are statements uh, which uh, which can be um, uh, made uh, based on systematic reviews. Uh, so this is, of course, uh, a lot of uh, further research needed um, uh, for evidence-based of uh, uh, level of these statements, but this is also um, a very, very imp uh, important factor. So accuracy, safety, and predictability uh, are uh, well-known 
uh, advantages of guided surgery, but it did not happen, uh, as you see on these charts. And I spent a lot of time in my early career thinking about why guided surgery did not happen. And when I was a young surgeon, um, I really tried to do all my cases guided. So I was using many different systems um, and I really pushed uh, the limits and pushed the borders how to make all my cases uh, uh, with guided surgery when it's about implantation. And what I soon realized is that I'm dealing with a lot of non-dental professional tasks. I had to deal with imaging, I had to deal with image segmentation and image processing, and I had to plan the implant positions. Uh, then uh, I had to design the surgical guides. I had to handle all my cases with a dental lab, uh, many times with phone calls, many times with team viewer sessions. So basically, I deal with a lot of non-dental professional tasks. Uh, I was also pretty uncertain because nobody really controlled my decisions. Uh, and I did not know if, uh, if I made my image processing correctly, if I, if I have designed my surgical guide correctly. So even though I was really, really focusing on this topic, uh, and I, I would say I was quite expert in this topic, I felt uncertain a lot of times. It was extremely time consuming. So many times I spent more than one hour or one and a half hours in front of the computer per case. And that's a time uh, factor uh, uh, which adds a lot uh, also on the expenses. I soon realized that the implant brand in, uh, dependence is, uh, is also a key factor why, why I felt uncomfortable. So um, uh, at, uh, at the private clinic, we were using one type of brand, but then when I went to the, um, uh, but when I went to the university, there we had different brands uh, which didn't have um, uh, guided kits or they weren't integrated in the same software. So I had to use a different software, with different workflows. So actually I felt pretty uncomfortable with this situation. And then of course it added a lot of, um, a lot of, lot to the expenses and not because of the price of the surgical guide. Uh, I would say if I add up all the expenses, that's the minor part of the whole story. Uh, my one, one and a half hours in front of the computer and my uncertainty was definitely the most expensive uh, thing of all the above mentioned uh, topics. So these were the reasons uh, what I found um, uh, in my early career that I stopped using guided surgery. And actually this was an eye-opening experience before establishing the company and before uh, uh, starting uh, development. So now let's see how we managed uh, to overcome uh, these problematic uh, situations. So let's see the system, the network, and the workflow step by step of Smart Guide. Um, our aim was from the beginning of developments is to make guided surgery fitting into the everyday clinical routine. So this was the number one and still is the number one sentence on top of our papers. For that, we needed a system which is complete and which gives you an A to Z experience. So we developed a software for you uh, with beautiful visualizations, but we soon realized that it's not enough. So we also, um, we also developed a, a universal guided uh, toolkit, uh, which is independent from what implant brand you are using. We also focus on production and for uh, surgical protocol production. We believe that these four things, what you see on the picture, these has to walk in hand in hand. The surgical tools has to determine uh, uh, how your surgical guide will look, how the surgical protocol will look, and it has to translate uh, each and every step in a very, very simple to read uh, manner. We also developed a online platform where you can have an overview of all your cases, where you can track your cases, uh, where you can see each and every order details. This is basically an activity log of all your surgical guides and all your patient cases uh, ordered through Smart Guide. This makes your life really, really easy and trackable at every um, uh, second. We also created an online platform uh, which gives you uh, really a comfort and a peace of mind. This is what we call the professional network of guided surgery. So now I'm going to show you how you receive all the services from us. 
So you as a clinician, you have a software on your, uh, on your desktop and you also have Smart Cloud Access, which is an online platform. And basically everybody who is involved within your workflow is integrated into Smart Cloud. So there are diagnostic partners who can uh, directly upload images uh, for you. There's also our image processing team, which is doing all the image processing steps automatically uh, for your comfort. We have mentor doctors integrated uh, where you have the option for, uh, for ordering uh, treatment plans done by other clinicians. We have the guide design team who are designing the surgical guides. And we also have production hubs for controlled and standardized production. So basically everything and everybody is communicating through Smart Cloud and all you see is a transparent, trackable and, uh, and uh, simple workflow with serious time warranties. So let's check how the workflow looks like. These are the three steps what you have to handle. Preparation, planning of, this, of the case and or approval, if we are planning it for you, and the surgery itself. What we are doing for you is the following services. We are, to, we are handling imaging, uh, image uploading, and image processing. We also provide you planning service if it's needed. We do guide design and production for you. So let's go step by step how this workflow looks like. You will be able to, to track where we are at on the workflow in the left lower corner. Preparations. We are supporting all types of oral scanners. So if you have an oral scanner, uh, then, uh, then you can make digital impressions uh, and upload it to Smart Cloud. We also support lab scanners. So if you don't have an oral scanner, but your dental lab is having a lab scanner, then you can uh, send him the, the impressions. He will uh, make a GIPS model, he will scan it, and then uh, he can also upload it to us. And we also support the classic um, uh, dual CBCT uh, uh, scan protocols for complete edentulous cases. But on top of these, uh, we also have an innovation. Uh, we said that we don't want to be dependent on these workflows and on these machines. So if you don't have an oral scanner or if you don't have an access for, uh, uh, for a lab scanner, then what we can do is you make a simple silicon impression. We don't need a plaster cast. You don't need extra machinery. There's no extra interaction with dental labs or with the patient. You just make a simple silicon impression from the jaw in question. You give it to the patient and the patient walks to the imaging site. At the imaging site, immediate imaging can be done. So there's one CBCT image from the patient and one CBCT image from the impression itself as you see it here on the picture. It's with the same settings, a very simple uh, uh, CBCT image. Then these two datas are uploaded to Smart Cloud by you or by your imaging partner. When it is uploaded, then it comes to us and it comes to our image processing team. And we do an immediate quality check and complete image processing steps. So basically, from this image, what comes out from a Combib CT machine, we provide you an image like this, a perfectly quality checked, visualized and designed image uh, for your best user experience. We also give a time warranty on this, uh, which I will mention to you later. So this is done by us. Then it goes back to your software and you end up with two possibilities. Either you plan your case on these quality checked uh, um, uh, images on a simple platform. We guarantee that uh, your computer time will be a few minutes and we all provide you this beautiful visualization. So basically on your software, you can plan your own treatment based on these quality checked and beautifully visualized images. But if you don't want to plan your case or you have some concerns with your planning, then we also have a service where we plan for you and you only approve or modify. Uh, these are planned and commented uh, treatment plans prepared by our mentor doctor network. You have the opportunity to modify these uh, plans if you want to. Uh, 
Uh, it also works if you planned already and you just want to validate your plan. And there's no need for scheduled sessions on TVWare or any other devices. This is all integrated in your platform. So it's a very safe, legal and comfortable way to have professional plans done by other clinicians for you. When the treatment plan is done, then with one click, you can order the surgical guide. Then it comes to our guide design team. And our guide design team will receive this image and create a professionally planned and designed surgical guide with the surgical protocols and with production protocols for you. So then basically these, this, is the, this is the file which then goes to production with a time warranty. Our production sites are ISO, uh, working under ISO standards. Um, uh, we are uh, controlled and standardized uh, uh, production hubs uh, based on DICOM lab protocols. And we also provide a time warranty uh, uh, when it goes to your office. Um, you are getting ready to use um, um, ready to use surgical guides from the boxes with transparent delivery times. It works for complete edentulous cases, for partial edentulous situations, and it also works for immediate implant placement. In the next two videos, you will see an animation how the box is arriving to you and how you can imagine the uh, uh, surgery based on a surgical animation. On this first video, you see our universal module, which is a smart uh, 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 with the smart kit, which is a partial sequence um, uh, module. Here on this video, you see how it arrives to your office ready to use from a box. You get the user manual, you get a surgical protocol, and you get the surgical guide itself. With your toolkit, it's perfectly designed together. So these tools are walking hand in hand. And this surgical protocol gives you a really, really simple to read cookbook, basically what tools to use in what sequence. You can see that these bubbles, according to each and every implant site, are showing you which star drill to use and then which drills in what sequence with a nice color codes uh, uh, to use in that situation. It also highlights the gum height and also control numbers. In this next video, we will show you a surgical animation, how the surgical guide is used with our tools and with our surgical protocols. It works any types of edentulous situations. And I would also like to point out that guided surgery is not necessarily flapless. You can do it flapless and we have the tools for that, but flap can be also raised if the anatomical situation requires that. The protocol shows you clearly what type of drills in what sequence to use. All the drills and all the tools are with an apical stop, so they are angle safe and depth safe as well. The gum height helps you to place the implant in the correct vertical position and the control number with a control tool is helping you to precisely re-control your vertical implant position. So this protocol with the surgical guide provides you a really nice surgical experience which is safe, accurate and predictable. So this was surgery. 
Now let's go back to the workflow in one big picture. To sum it up from your perspective, from the clinician perspective, what happened now? The patient came to you, you made a simple silicone impression, or if you have an oral scanner, you made an, uh, an oral scanning from the jaw in question. You send the patient to the imaging site, a Convim CT is done from the patient and uh, uh, from, the, uh, from the impression if it's needed. It's uploaded to our site and within one hour, we guarantee you that you get a beautifully visualized and quality checked image on your computer. So within one hour of imaging, you can either uh, request a planning service from us or you can plan the surgical uh, uh, treatment by yourself. You can order the surgical guide with one click and now uh, uh, we provide a three-day uh, warranty at your doorstep everywhere in Europe. Uh, uh, so it will be uh, uh, in your office in a very, very short time that it's predictable and transparent. So basically, this is it, uh, uh, what it requires from the clinic, uh, clinician's perspective. So now let's check modularity. And by modularity, we mean how we support all clinicians and how we support every level of guidance, uh, depending on what type of implant brand you're using. SmartGuide works with a membership fee. This is a, this is a one year membership. Um, uh, you can ask uh, your dealers uh, or uh, uh, we can provide you uh, with, the, uh, uh, with the exact uh, uh, price list uh, uh, after, after the webinar. Um, so with the Smart Guide membership, you get an e-learning material. This is a really cool online education tool uh, which, uh, which keeps you always up to date. You also get a certification course. This is a full day course uh, uh, with theoretical and practical uh, trainings on smart guide software and also drilling on artificial bomb models. So basically you get an A to Z uh, uh, experience uh, in a lecture room. You and your, um, your diagnostic partners are getting smart cloud access and you can, uh, you can open it up uh, even on your mobile devices. We manage all your diagnostic inputs, so it doesn't matter for us how many cases are uploaded to Smart Cloud. We quality check and process all these images. We also give you uh, uh, storage. You can download any number of softwares um, uh, to your computers and continuous updates are also included. We also have a help desk service in English language. So this is what you get for the Smart Guide membership fee. With this, you immediately can use uh, Smart Guide. Let's see what tools, uh, tool possibilities you have. With Basic, you get single-use trials for each and every surgical guide. This is optimal for you if you don't have any guided tools and you don't want to invest to any guided um, um, uh, toolkit. So at this point, with the Basic module, you end up with ordering your surgical guides and then having pilot sequence guidance. So you get single use pilot drills with your surgical guides. When you are planning your case, when you are planning your case, then you will see these dummy implants in your computer, in the software. The sleeves are automatically calculated to the pilot drills. So you only focus on the dummy implants and the implant positions. On the left side, you see the planning phase. On the right side, uh, planning side. On the right side, you see the 3D view. Everything is basically calculated automatically, so you are really um, uh, able to focus on the implant positioning itself. This is a real-time video, so actually, all it takes to plan a simple case in smart guide system you can play around with the visualizations as well so you see also how the soft tissue is visualized and don't forget this is all prepared by us and um, and this visual visualization is done based on one simple silicon impression without any plaster cost without any 
uh, uh, scanning device uh, without any dental lab work with a time warranty. This is the surgical protocol, what you get with, uh, with the basic module. So at each and every surgical uh, uh, implant site, you see a bubble which shows you which drill um, uh, which we send you, which drill to use, um, and, um, and these are all with epical stops. So you end up with a really, really great surgical experience um, uh, with a pilot sequence. So with the universal module, uh, you can open it up by purchasing our universal kit. It works with any implant brand since it's a partial sequence solution. So you can drill up to 3.5 millimeters um, and you also have fixation options because there's a fixation uh, drill and a fixation pins uh, on the surgical tools. In the software, your user experience is exactly the same. You click add the implant button, you place an implant, you end up with the same dummy implants, you can set it uh, with, uh, with every known uh, length and diameter. So whatever implant brand you're using, you can set it to their uh, sizes. And the sleeve positions and the sleeve sizes are also calculated automatically, so you don't have to be bothered uh, by that. In the next couple of seconds, you will see how the sleeve is always trying to jump down to the shortest, uh, uh, closest uh, uh, possible location to the patient to limit uh, the mouth opening um, uh, uh, problematic situation as uh, caused by limitations of the mouth opening. This is also a real-time video, so it shows you that within this uh, one and a half minute, basically, uh, uh, an average case can be uh, really nicely planned. Sleeve positions are calculated automatically. There are nice warnings integrated in the algorithms, so you really cannot mess it up in the software. When you order the surgical guide with the universal module, then you end up with the surgical protocol calculated to this uh, plan and this toolkit. So here you see that this bubble is slightly different than in the basic model because it shows you what drills and in what sequence to use from that toolkit, what you are having in your office. This avoids a lot of uh, possible problematic situations in guided surgery. Um, um, so, uh, so we really believe that the tools, the protocol, and the, and the planning has to walk hand in hand. We also support uh, implant brands uh, and we make uh, continuous integrations uh, with the selected uh, uh, implant companies. For example, um, Strawman implant brands are integrated in the software. That means that we provide full sequence solution for, for those brands with implant mounting. And in the software, the experience is when you place an implant, then you will end up with the exact types and sizes of that specific implant brand, which is nothing new. The new thing here is that we also integrate their guided concepts, their toolkits, their sleeves and their sleeve positions. So everything is calculated automatically. So with Strauman, for example, their sleeves and their concepts, their sleeve positions are also integrated into uh, Smart Guide. So your experience is the same. You only have to solely focus on the implant position and the implant sizes. There are some warnings let you know that something is not correct with the plan. And you can see how the sleeve positions are calculated automatically.
When you order a surgical guide with an implant-specific module, then you end up with an implant-specific surgical protocol automatically calculated and visualized for you. So here, at each and every implant site, you end up with a bubble showing you the exact tools, the exact color coding, uh, which is in the implant company's toolkit. So these are your possibilities after purchasing SmartGuide membership. Uh, these are your possibilities for different level of guidance. Basic, once again, is perfect for you if you want to try out SmartGuide and you don't have uh, uh, any toolkits. Universal is optimal when you have to uh, when you uh, want to keep your implant uh, uh, system independence and uh, uh, when you want to have a partial sequence solution for any type of brands and implant spe system specific uh, works perfectly with the implant brands in question which are integrated into smart guide with the surgical guides when you order a surgical guide then you get a lot of services with that first of all we design the surgical guides for you so it's a professional service according to your plan we also provide you the surgical protocol which is simple to read and it's uh, perfectly in harmony with your tools and your plan we use original parts and original sleeves we have the professional um, uh, manufacturing sites and depending on your country uh, we also deliver, deliver it for you uh, uh, within the price of the surgical guide. So you end up with an end-to-end -end solution with everything out of one box. So this was modularity with membership, with the tools and with the surgical guides. With, the, with this um, um, uh, modularity, we can really support all clinicians and every level of guidance. So now I'm going to show you uh, the events what we are uh, making. We designed three level of events uh, to get you familiar with guided surgery and with Smart Guide. The webinar is what you are listening to now. These are uh, approximately one hour events uh, from short introductions of Smart Guide technology. Uh, uh, through an online platform. It's great to get uh, uh, familiar with our ideas and with our system. We also provide certification courses, which I mentioned at the membership fee. So these are full day theoretical and hands-on courses after purchasing Smart Guide membership. Uh, uh, this is a great um, um, uh, day. Uh, in the end of the day, basically you, you stand up with all the knowledge which is needed to start Smart Guide. Uh, the next day. We also make clinical courses which are really really unique. These are two-day uh, uh, courses in one of, uh, in, uh, in uh, Hungarian universities. Uh, the uh, the uh, new thing here is that we operate patients together with you on two-day clinical courses with mentor doctors. So basically on day one uh, we introduce you to the patient, uh, uh, you make the, uh, the impressions, uh, we help you to plan the cases, you listen to theoretical uh, uh, presentations and, and case introductions. And then the next day we operate the patients together, so you are involved uh, in the, uh, in the uh, operation itself, you are scrubbed in and, uh, and you are able to see it uh, from first hand how the A to Z solution uh, works in real clinical environment. The certification course and the clinical course give you a certification in the end, so you become a Smart Guide member at the end of the day. Also, uh, an, interesting, um, an inter interesting chart came out from the clinical trial, which I was showing to you uh, a couple of minutes ago. And this is the learning curve. This is very, very important when, uh, when you are thinking of, uh, of, of starting guided surgery. What you see here are the surgical days from that clinical trial where approximately 200 implants were placed. And uh, on, the, on the other side, you see the overlap, which is basically the accuracy of the implant placement itself. And you can see how steep and fast the learning curve is of guided surgery 
but what's also very important that it has a learning curve. So don't expect everything working perfectly as your first patient. You need three, four surgeries to get familiar with the tools, with the protocols, uh, with the software, with the planning. And then after that, the good news is that what you see here, after your third, fourth surgery, uh, uh, your um, uh, expected um, uh, precision and safety stays in a really, really um, uh, high level while freehand surgery is always variating depending on your previous day, uh, uh, depending on, um, uh, on your uh, skill sets and basically a lot of other factors since we are human beings. Now I'm going to show you some, uh, uh, one clinical case. It's a simple case with, uh, with a single implant placement. I chose this case to show you uh, uh, how a um, flap surgery can be uh, made with, uh, with a surgical guide. On this short video, you will see the, the planning itself of a right upper four uh, missing tooth. So step number one, we go to the implant site. Step number two, we plan the implant positioning, the orovestibular uh, uh, view. You can easily set the position, the angulation, the size width and length of the implant. With one click, you can check the predefined mesiodistal view, which helps you to position the implant also in this plane. You can see also how the sleeve position and the sleeve length is calculated automatically makes your making your life a lot easier. So this was a real live video, uh, a real time video from the positioning of this implant. Then the surgical protocol clears is show, showing you the tools needed for this surgery. And on this short video, you will see how a small minimal invasive flap can be raised in such a situation.
Here what you see is the final drill of the implant brand. We recommend to use it in case you have to modify the implant site and then the implant placement is done freehand with the partial sequence module. Of course, when it's a, an implant system specific module, then the implant placement is also through the surgical guide itself. So this case showed you that guided surgery can be also um, uh, flap surgery and of course it also works um, very nicely with flapless situations. So now to the questions. If you have any questions uh, then please uh, write it on the webinar platform and I'm very happy to answer all of them. Thank you very much for your attention. Uh, this was Smart Guide webinar. Uh, if you have any further questions, then you can uh, get in touch um, with our sales team. And you can also find us on LinkedIn, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. Follow us everywhere. And let's make guided surgery a global standard together. Thank you very much once again.